Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today gonna be, maybe, starting a new series on my YouTube channel. Now, I think it's fair to say in the past decade that Steam has kind of become the forerunner on obtaining games over the internet. And I think anyone who has a Steam account consequentially knows that they have a bunch of games that they've bought on a Steam sale that they never played or never gave an honest shot. And, uh, I'm guilty of that. So, I got a bunch of games here that I want to get through, that I want to share with you guys and play. And that's what I'm going to do. I used to have a series kind of like this called Let's Try, but I wasn't kind of restricted to Steam games. This series is going to be the Steam Playlist. So my goal is to at least give every game on this list an honest shot. Call of Duty's on this list. I don't think people play that anymore, so maybe I don't need to. Also, Battlefield Bad Company 2. Like I said, a lot of games on here. Dota 2 is going to be an interesting one. But we're going to try and get through all of them, download them all, and try to play all of them at least once. Now... I received two games recently as gifts. One of them was Gauntlet, which is a game I loved growing up. I love Gauntlet and Gauntlet Dark Legacy, both of them. Unfortunately, I want to play it with a controller, and I don't have the, the tool installed to change my PlayStation 4 controller into an X input controller. So, instead, I'm going to be playing the other game that I got as a gift, Reciter, or Reciteer, an Item Shop's Tale. So, um, I spent seven minutes getting this set up, and uh, I have no idea what's about to happen. So... Let's get into it. I'm gonna turn my sound on, and we should be good to go. So, there you have it. Reciteer, an item shop's tale. Not very many options here. We have an encyclopedia. I have nothing done. Options also for sound and whatnot. And new game. So, uh, let's just see what the heck this game is about. Oh my goodness, what is this music in my ear? What is this music? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I'm still asleep and this music is absolutely not helping. I, I can see this is going to be a very anime-ish game, art style, and whatnot. Oh, I guess, Riss well, her name is very similar to the... Oh, both of their names. One's Reset and one's Tear, so it's Resetier. That's Reset. And that's, and the one on the left is Tear. Now it makes sense. Now, see, it's roll credits. We figured out the name and we figured out the title. We don't have time for Good Morning. We don't. Also, we also don't have time for you to tell me why we don't have time. That's a, I got that line from Destiny, by the way. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh. <laughs> Listen, go wash your face. I'm presentable right now. This is, if this is a game with anime style art, you're going to tell me to make myself presentable and my clothes aren't going to change. What are the... Uh, yeah. How did I know that? <laughs> make yourself presentable. Just wash your face. I know I know it's not going to show on your character models. But, uh, yeah. So am I seriously just in charge of running an item shop? Is that the whole point? So, okay. Without anything to sell. Okay. So I have a thousand picks. I'm guessing that's uh, <laughs> that's a currency here. We don't have anything to sell. How did you open a shop without anything to sell? How did you get a down payment or a loan on this thing without anything to sell? I don't even know how you were able to. Can you do that in Japan? Can you just like say, hey, I want I want to buy this and sell stuff here, and the guy will just be like, okay, I don't care. If, what are you gonna sell? I don't know. I don't have anything to sell yet. Yeah, that would be uh. I'd love to see that happen in America. Unless you literally just bought the place in cash and became the landlord and everything. Can't really imagine that going down too well. Alright, let's get right to it. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door. It's located in the upper right-hand corner. Imagine that's how you described a store to somebody, like, without them looking at a map. I wanted to leave through the window. Did they... They just said to eternity and I feel like they wanted to say to infinity and beyond. Alright. So. Oh. It's like a fairy. What the f- <laughs> What is this game? What is this music? Oh my goodness. This, mu <laughs> this music is ridiculous. Oh man. Wait a minute. I think I understand how this game works. Every action takes a certain amount of time from your day, and 
you want to see how many days you can take to finish the store, I guess. This action will not take any time. This action will not take any time. Going to a dungeon will take two periods of time. Alright, so I guess I have to go to each and every guild. Since it's the first day, it'll probably take time in the later days. Lone Shark. That's not very nice. Forgive me, forgive me, partners it is. <laughs> like, I was mouth is just open at all times. And then when he's when he's laughing, it opens just slightly more than it did before. <laughs> oh, man. This is a hell of a gift, apparently. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. Yeah, we came here to pick up some merchandise. I've got a thousand picks. What can we get? No more than 10 items. Alright, let's purchase the whole store then. It's time to stock up a bit. Um, Alright, I guess we'll buy... <laughs> oh, I should... Alright, well, we can't afford the longsword right now, unfortunately. Can we talk? What is the guild? No, I don't think we have time for all that stuff. That'll be all for now. So, am I supposed to be, like, the way I'm, uh, hey, walnut bread, the way I'm understanding this is I am a, I am a shop in an RPG, I am a shop in an RPG, I'm like, imagine you were playing an RPG, and you had to go to the item shop, oh, I can't go to, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, okay, I guess that was really my only option, the crash course, oh, great, just put the items on, oh, this is gonna become a whole big thing, isn't it? This music in the shop, I can't take it. It's ear piercing. I need to get out of this menu and turn the friggin' sound down. <laughs> the primary button, huh? Okay, at least the characters are just as confused by the term primary button as they should be whenever that's explained in an RPG. Alright. Gotta think carefully before placing something. Line it up. Alright, well, there's four item slots right here. Oh, that's nice and simple. Yes, you may speak with me a moment. Oh. I guess a worn sword is, uh... <laughs> not a good thing to put in the windows, then. I like how they didn't discuss any of this. Before opening the shop. Like, seriously? <laughs> okay, I placed all four items. What do you want? Oh, can I put walnut bread? Okay. No, it looks pretty dumb, trust me. How to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. This is like... This is gonna be an experience, isn't it? Okay, we can actually sit down. And then what do we just wait? Oh my goodness, I need to strategize on how to sell the- Oh, no. God, you're gonna have to lecture me on everything, aren't you? A nice big welcome. Oh, this is gonna be an experience. <laughs> Could I get this, please? Pay very close attention to the base price. Yeah, I don't want to get swindled. <laughs> I, I like that the characters are confused by the explaining of the controls. I like that little break in the fourth wall kind of thing. Name a price higher than the base. To raise your offer. Okay, so if I... I have to pay careful attention. <laughs> 1201. Oh, so... No, we don't want to let the customers walk out. We don't want that. Alright, 
Well, I'm glad that I'm learning how to run a store. Ideally, you'll lawyer off for a little. Yeah, I understand how selling items works. It's weird that I understand that that well. How long can you keep haggling? Well, it depends on how regular a customer... Oh, we can get a uh, regulars? I'm down with that. It's a lot of little things in this game. It's actually fairly interesting for a very simple game. Could I get this, please? Now for a fine art of haggling. Hmm, the deuce is price. Oh, well, I bet we're about to explain that. Usually. Teaching little kids how to haggle, that's not very that's not a very good thing for what seems to be a fairy to do. There you go. I should have just lowered it down to one. It's like, no! That's too much! Alright. I don't even have that item for sale. 30%. There you go. Too bad I'm not actually going to get 3,800 picks. Really? One more time? Alright. I want to go up to 30%. No. There. 30%. There you go. It's too bad you're not a real person. You're on my side anyway. Seriously, I need to practice that? Alright. So that's out of the way. I gotta get rid of this music. I can't handle this music! It's so ear-piercing in my headset. And it's gonna get stuck in my head, too. Okay. Salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. Go sit at the counter. Got it. Oh, it's... Okay, this music's not so bad. Okay, so the name of the store... Oh, she wants my bread. Yeah, that looks like a nice even number. There you go, see? I am a genius. We did it, guys. We sold our first item. <laughs> that was so easy. We sold one thing. We sold walnut bread. That wasn't even what we bought. We literally just made money back because we got that for free. Papa. Where's Papa? And that's how we started running an item shop. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's an RPG. What does it matter? Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tyr and I first... Oh, God. Please tell me it's not going to actually make me go through all this. Oh, I think it might. I think there's a good chance it will actually explain that. Oh, maybe not. Easy Game Station presents... Well, Easy Game Station probably means this is going to be an easy game. <laughs> a tale of a fairy, a girl, and an item shop. So they named the shop Reciter. Reciter. I keep calling it Reciter. And how to run... <laughs> I was right. And how to run an item shop. Reciter. That's a hell of a prologue. Hope the epilogue is as epic as that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Let's see. Yep, calendar says it's been three months since Pa- Oh, <laughs> He's gonna be a hero. It really is just playing on all, like, the, like, the background of an RPG item shop. Yeah, I'm up. What do you want, Tyr? Who do you think it is? Oh, this is how they met. This is... Oh, okay. This is how they met. Okay. They are telling me that background story. 
Miss Fairy. Her, na her last name is Lemongrass? That's a weird name. What? This isn't going to be good. Uh-oh. It's a little kid. Why does a fairy come to... I shouldn't ask questions. It's an RPG. <laughs> so he was fighting a dragon on top of a volcano. As the sole remaining member of his household, we should all require that you pay his debts in it. What? Oh, okay. Guess we're going to have to open an item shop to pay off those debts. That's, uh... That would be kind of dark if you got sold off in different parts. I don't... <laughs> no, I don't want... I already listened to you in the prologue. Well, absurd means. Good. Oh, stop complaining. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's a good day to start, apparently. Those who do not work, do not eat. I'd say, uh, I'd say take work. Yes, it is an adventuring hub. I can't, I just, maybe it's an MMO item shop. I don't know. I gotta stop. I gotta stop trying to make sense of things in games like this. This is gonna be an interesting gift that I received. I don't even know how to really... <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to take it all in. I don't even understand what's really... Like, what's really going on here. <laughs> like, I know they came from a finance company because my father took out a loan and now he never came back so we still owe them the money and we have to open an item shop. Nah, we'll be alright. Don't worry. He might be dead. There's a good chance that he's dead. Yayness? Oh, God. Stop. Just stop! Don't say yayness! It sounds like anus! <laughs> now I'm not gonna be able to unhear that. Because now I'm gonna end up later. End up, I'm gonna end up being like, ha, yayness. And someone's gonna be like, anus? Like, no, no, no. Yay! Ness. Sounds like anus. Yeah, I know. Oh, hey, that's the title. That's the second time we've... <laughs> Roll credits. Oh, look, they... I'm glad I figured it out before we got this far, because they just had to explain it for me. I like the name. Ho! Did you just call her a ho? Mispronounce it even slightly in. Racketeer? Really? I didn't even think about pronouncing it like racketeer. <laughs> and, and so a fairy suddenly entered my life. You can't see it, but I'm bobbing my head left and right to this theme. I gotta take this headset off. I'm gonna kill myself if I have to listen to this song that much longer. I need to be able to get to an to an option screen, please. Don't worry, I'm waking up. Good morning. A good morning hand? Now I want to see a clock that has a good morning hand. Well, I have a feeling I'm going to get that much sleep every day. Yeah, let's do it. 
Wash yourself up, don't change your clothes, and meet me downstairs. The most important part about anything anime is the don't change your clothes part. Make sure you absolutely don't change your clothes. Because we can't have that. What do I do now? Yeah, we should probably get some new stock. Don't worry, I'll choose for you. What are there are speed runs of this game? <laughs> Alright, let's go let's go see if we can refill a stock anywhere. Go to the mark now and no, no, let's um this action won't take any time, really? How much are these? Seven hundred each. I'm gonna pass. I'm too poor. Merchant skilled. He's out of stock. Eight hundred forty. Can't afford that. I. <laughs> That's not good. Town square. Oh, I didn't see if this option will take time. Oh, looks like nobody's here. Well, that's a pretty upsetting town square. Chapel. Doesn't look like anyone's here either. Some sort of, some town. Going to a dungeon will take two periods of time. You know what? Let's just open our first day and try to get some sales on the board. How does that sound? Alright, let's open the store. Oh my god, customers. Oh, he wants my sword. Yeah, seems about right. You're damn right it does. Is that it? Three people came in? I only sold one thing? What? That's bull. Wait, I thought... Oh, I guess I only have one period of time left. One of you buy something, please. Good. Is this the same guy as before? I don't know if it is. Just in case. Yeah, I sold it. Anybody else want anything? Why are there so many people and I'm, like, not even selling anything? Does the store open at night? Can I just go to sleep? Okay. I guess I just have to open for every period of the day. You want your sword back? Didn't you just sell me that? You know how much that's worth. That's not fair. Uh, whoops. I'd call that a fair deal. I'm gonna try going all the way up to the 30%. I'm losing money on this deal. Alright, we sold... Wait, the walnut bread? I thought that was the day before. Acceptable. We didn't buy anything, though. Oh my goodness, this is gonna become a very speedy experience very quickly, isn't it? Sure, you may have a moment, because we need to restock. That's probably what it's about. Oh, you have a suggestion. Yeah, you never told. Oh, that's great. Faint... Fantastic. Oh. Okay. That's gonna be scary. Alright, so how do I get to the calendar? Change camera. Uh, and I get skills and stuff, too. If I remember correctly. Okay, so today is the 3rd, and I need 10,000 by the 8th. Holy moly. That's nerve-wracking. You have anything else for me to buy? Nope. Buy one long sword. Remember, every purchase in this game is an investment. Uh, I should have probably turned off those uh, those notifications. Not a big deal. I don't want to just have one item to sell. Let's go to the Adventurer's Guild. This is the Adventurer's Guild. Guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness. Oh, so I'm going to be just like Papa, except come back alive. We could sell everything we get at 100% profit. We need to hire an adventurer. Uh-oh. Alright. I guess that'll probably be in the uh, membership area. Or in the like town square area. I was, I was going to say, do I actually get to fight as this character? That would be... Uh, yeah. Meet an adventure. That is true. We do we do run into clients on a fair on a fairly regular basis. Is something wrong? Oh, I think we're about to meet our first adventure.
Wow, that is a terrible circle that you're uh, involved in, sir. I think we may have found somebody. See, now we're going to get to see all of the things that we don't get to do in an actual game. It's alright. You have an idea. Do we have the money to pay that guy? Uh, yeah, you might want to wait because I don't know that we... We have like 400 picks. I don't think we can pay that guy. Now you're hungry, huh? Well, we don't have any more walnut bread, so... What the heck is CD? Yes, we did. <laughs> what is CD? Like, what does that even mean? Yeah, he isn't a plant. I actually agree with the dumb one for a minute here. Business naturally. Yes, that's what we will call him, Mr. Swordsman. That is going to be his name. Yep. See? Mr. Swordsman, that's his name. Don't even tell me your real name. Oh my god, she uses yay and everything. Yayification. Oh god, no. No, no, no. And your name? Louis? Louis the. S what kind of name is Louis? Whoever picked your name, I'm gonna assume it's another player. Not like in actuality, but that's the way I would put it. Uh. What? Why are these glowing? Hmm. Anything else here? Okay, absolutely not. Anybody in the chapel this time? Term finances. Contracted. Oh, well, at least we have some fairy lore. Yay! That's amazing! I'm surprised you didn't say that's yay amazing. This character is unbelievable. <laughs> Alright. Pick the items you want him to bring. Wait. What? Pick the items you wish to bring with you. Uh, It's the only item I have. Oh, do I actually get to play as him? Oh, I'm kind of scared now. Oh, they came with... Why would they come with me into the dungeon? Welcome to the jungle? Really? There's a protective field around... Really? That is amazing. No, he's not safe at all. We can directly manipulate things. Okay. Yeah, he'll pick the stuff up. Don't worry. Hopefully this long sword is enough. Naturally, if we get out safely, we can bring as much as our bags will allow us to carry. Good. We're going to need a lot of items. Okay, this just became an interesting, a far more interesting game. Equip items in bag? Don't I? Oh, we got combo abilities. Yeah, special abilities. L1 is the only special ability I have so far. Oh, give me the loot. What's that? Oh, a rusty dagger. Oh, that thing died. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be good. I wonder how long we can spend in here. Like, I wonder, like... I really wonder how long. I see they have eight... Oh, man. Thank you for screaming, because her loud and annoying screams are actually what made me notice that <laughs> it was, uh, that bad things were about to happen. It's, oh, is that a, wait, wait, okay, that's an apple. I thought it was a bomb for a second. I got scared. Ingredient? Uh-oh, it's a mystery. I went from, <laughs> instead of playing Gauntlet, I'm playing this. I just, I just want, I just want to keep that, 
that thought in your head. I was gonna play Gauntlet, but couldn't get the controller to work, and now I'm playing, like, fake Gauntlet. <laughs> very, very fake Gauntlet. That's alright. Yeah. You slimes ain't got nothing on me. That was a trap. I didn't even think about traps, to be honest. Wasn't sure how elaborate this, this dungeon crawling was gonna be in this game. Hopefully we can finish the whole dungeon. It seems like... A t um... Okay, maybe, never mind. I didn't get any SP back. What's that? Go to the next floor? No, 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 no. Let's, let's finish looking on this floor first. I could use the experience points. At least there's, like, more gameplay to it. I, I like that there's at least more gameplay than just the shop itself. And there's actually, like, skills. I was wondering because when I was checking the controls, it was telling me that I could keybind all of my different abilities. And I didn't know what that meant until now. But now I know. Okay. Let's go to the next floor. I wonder if I have to get all the way out, or if I just need to make it, like, somewhat of the way. These enemies aren't that bad, so... But I don't know if there's going to be a boss at the, on the final floor or anything. This blade's got a kind of weird arc that I gotta get used to. Like, it's not just directly in front of him, it's, like, off to the side. And it kind of ends in front of him. I like that attack, though. That's That attack looks like it's a, a 360. Where's his experience? Is his ex Yeah, yeah, yeah. His experience is there. I see it. That's gonna go up? Is that really? No, no, no. There's more. There's more. What is that marker on my... Oh, it's a, an enemy. Ooh, got him. Oh, I guess the enemies respawn after some time. Just looking on my mini-map, I'm seeing what looks like enemies respawning. Got him. Got that finisher. I wonder how I get that, like, finisher, like, legit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was another trap, I guess? This is the real one. Oh, give me that bow. A long bow. Oh, we're gonna make so much money out of this. So, the equipment that I get, I can, I, I gotta decide whether or not I wanna sell it, or if I want to, uh, if I wanna use it to help get even more loot. Man, this is gonna be, this is actually gonna be a pretty unique experience. I'm really, I'm happy that my friend, thank you, thank you, Ray, for buying this game for me. I appreciate it. It's actually really cool. It's a really cool concept that has some... Oh, man. <laughs> that uh, scared the bejesus out of me. has some interesting gameplay concepts. The very It's a very simple game. I mean, it is made by Easy Games. What is it? Easy Game Station or whatever it is? So I, I can't... I wouldn't really expect it to be all too hard. But so far, it's definitely a cool kind of game. Leveling up. Louis already level 4. Oh, man. Almost ran right into that thing. Oh, critical. Yeah, that attack is really strong. I guess I... Okay, well, no more chests. Alright, so let's go to the next floor. Get this ingredient. Killing enemies. That never hurts. I'm glad that that stuff auto-collects and that I don't have to run around after it. All that experience points to the next floor. I only took one hit so far. I think... I wonder when I level up if it'll... Uh, you know, if it'll give me full health back. Take care of all the other enemies in this room before I see if that chest is a trap. Be careful, that's a trap! And it was a trap. There we go. We got it. Saw that skill right there. Saw all that lit, that, that, that lit, that lit skill. Come on. There we go. Alright, almost level 5. These enemies are level 3 now. I guess their, their level is going up 1 for every floor that we climb. Alright. I think I'll level... Oh, hey, we got more enemies now. After I kill one of these... Uh, he moves in, like, a square. They move in, like, somewhat predictable patterns. Yeah, his HP goes to full whenever he levels. They move in somewhat predictable patterns. Each type of enemy, each different color. And, uh... Each different enemy kind. So, I gotta get used to all those. Oh, a real item. Oh, is that a broom? It's a back scratcher. Yo, those... You can sell a back scratcher for a lot of money. You know how annoying it is to have to actually scratch your back? That sucks. Yeah, he's trying to punch me. What item was that? I didn't even see what item it was. Hey, he's doing a fire punch. Yeah, if I get close to him, he just turns and tries to fire punch me. Don't worry, Louie. I won't let you die. 
Got him. Don't worry. What are you even screaming about? You're not the one in danger. A chocolate bar. This is going to be a good dungeon. We're going to make a lot of money off this dungeon. I wonder if you're ever expected to fail this dungeon. <laughs> this first dungeon right here. I'd be pretty embarrassed if I failed this dungeon. And now that I said that, I'm probably going to fail this dungeon. Ow. Yeah. Like I said. Now that I said that, I'm probably going to fail it. It'd probably be a good idea for me to kill a few more enemies. Try and get some extra experience points. I don't know if any more of those goblins will spawn. And those are really the things that are worth the most experience. I think I'll be fine going up to the next floor. I only lost 11 health. I have 26 left. Next floor it is. Alright, what do we got? Point me in the right direction. What the f is that thing? I wasn't taking no chances. I don't know that thing's attack patterns yet. Alright, we have a treasure chest right here. I guess the real question will be if it's a trap. Hey, he threw something at me. It was a trap, by the way. It was indeed a trap. Oh, he threw another rock at me. Oh my goodness. I can't see anything around this corner. Oh, hey, walnut bread. All right. Seriously? Now you gotta die. Now you done you done annoyed me. All right, I gotta level up. I gotta level up soon before I run into any more enemies that I just don't know anything about. That's a weird spot for a, uh, a respawn. We gotta find all the chests on this floor though. Level four enemies. Please level me up. Ah, oh, one one away, one away. We'll get it. We'll get it before we go to the next floor so I can have full health. You're doing a great job so far, Louie. I'm glad I gave you that long sword. I think you I think you'll I think you'll make my money back. There we go. Full health. Full SP. On to the next floor we go. Level six. How many Okay, here we go. The final treasure. I'm assuming there's gonna be a boss here. There's no way the treasure's just gonna be chillin'. This is did I do it? I did, didn't I? Way to go, Louie. Of course we have to get the money. No. Don't worry. Alright, let's see what happens. What is this? Cards. An Adventurer's Guild card. Okay, that makes sense. Nope, it's us. You're damn right it's gonna be us. Take my very first card. <laughs> There's a virginity joke in there somewhere. What the heck is that? Well... Other than the obvious answer of it uh, being a door, it's probably the way out. Door of return. Every five levels. Oh man, no, no, no. If if there's a hundred levels in a dungeon, we're gonna have to get that dungeon done, everyone. If we need to rest or... I, I just realized, I don't know how much inventory space I had taken up. Ignore the doors and press onward, but I think we, yeah, we probably have to go home. Is there anything else? Nope, the door is our only choice. I like how we smack the door. Yay, we did it. Holy moly, we got a bunch of stuff. Apple plus one, we got some HQ stuff. Oh, plus three. Oh, that's... That's good. Let's put some items up for sale. Swords, daggers, longbows. Dude, we gotta put a back scratcher. Who the heck wouldn't want to come in for back scratchers? Put everything up. Everything. We gotta sell all the items. I like how she does a little, like, jump every time. Actually, no. Hold on. No, hold on. I don't want that there. Actually, you know what? I want all the slime fluids here. No, I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to do this. Leave me alone, fairy. 
You're ruining my life. Put everything on. I wonder if that's a good idea or if that's a bad idea. Let's try to open the store, see if we can sell some things. I need to make 10,000. I only have 455. I need to make 10,000. Seems fair enough. Yep. You're damn right it's fair enough. Anybody else? Yes, multiple purchases can be made. That was something I wasn't sure about. Here, we'll go down to 375, buddy. Oh, I wonder. I want to get a merchant level. So, anybody else want to buy something? Did you just buy? Didn't you just buy something? Oh, okay. That's an expensive item, buddy. Eighteen hundred would be nice. Sure, I can make it cheaper. We'll go down to seventeen hundred. Don't worry, I'm not super greedy. I just got to make sure I meet my minimums. Wow, everyone's buying all these things. I'm so successful. Yes, I can make it a bit cheaper. There you go, 375. 375 is a nice number. I like that number. Oh, nobody bought the slimes. Hey, we made mad profits. Exceeded expectations. Yeah, I always exceed expectations. Alright. Alright, I think I'm gonna make that the end of this video for the time being, because if I have to listen to this song any longer... I'm gonna kill myself. So, thank you everyone for watching. I'm gonna try and get through this game through video series because, well, I wanna see if I can finish all these Steam games, you know. And this is actually a fairly interesting game if you wanna check it out. Uh, Reseteer, uh, Steam. Don't know how much it is. Probably not too much on Steam looking at the kind of game it is. So, give it a shot. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care.